I then saw something remarkable. For the first time, Paul broke free of our father's instruction into a rhythm all his own. One of the great scenes in Robert Redford's A River Runs Through It, based on Norman McLean's classic novella. Fly fishing is one of the most enduring and enchanting pursuits in the world. During the pandemic, it's finding legions of new followers. To explore this captivating world, we travel to the birthplace of American fly fishing to spend time with a writer who's been on the water for more than 50 years and the queen of American fly fishing, who's been at it for more than 90. Pull off a little more line, Jeff. Imagine in this time of chaos and uncertainty, finding something that takes you away, that puts you back in touch with the timeless. It's why so many lately have discovered fly fishing. Oh, strike. Nice. When you find yourself doing something and you don't notice the passage of time, that's what fly fishing does to me. It just puts me in like another state. Peter Kaminsky has devoted half a century to this sport, both casting and writing about it. Wherever there's carnivorous fish, someone can catch them with a fly. Fly fishing is different than bait fishing because the fly sits on the water. It's not food dropped underneath, which can be far more challenging and rewarding. The origins of fly fishing trace back to the Roman Empire, but it was the English with old bamboo rods who really put it on the map in the 1600s. Fly fishing started in the U.S. in upstate New York in the late 19th century. The king of American fly fishing was Lee Wolf, who brought it into our living rooms on popular series like ABC's American Sportsman. See a book, uh, jump like that? Lee died in a plane crash in 1991. But his wife, a master herself, is still going strong at age 94. For me, it was being in the out of doors. The natural world is kind of my church, my religion. Joan Wolf was first introduced to fishing in the 1930s. That was almost 90 years ago, and you remember that like, like it was yesterday. It, it determined my life, <laughs> basically. Joan went on to win her first professional competition at the age of 12 and set many milestones for female fishers after that. For the past 30 years, she's been running the fly fishing school that she and her husband founded in the Catskills. Casting is your passport to being a good fisherman. You've, you've got to be able to cast well and put the fly where it should go. What do you think you've come to appreciate or learn given well, this extraordinary that's, that's, time that's, in, in the sport? For one thing, there were very few women who fished. And so that's been the story of my life is trying to get women into the sport. And finally, I've had to wait this long. They are now in. Joan was gracious enough to give us a lesson. We have a back cast and we have a forward cast. Yep. And so I'm going to do just the forward cast okay. now with this. Do you see that the rod is away from my wrist and I've got a 90 degree angle basically. Yep. And I'm going to pull it down in one piece from the shoulder. Okay. Just like that. Do that. Up and down. Just feel what you... No, just go up and down and feel the shoulder. Jeff... Oh. We're not doing the back cast. Okay, we're not doing the back casting. You're a hard pupil. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> thank you for your patience. All right. It usually takes a couple days to get the hang of it. Try it again. But when done right, there is not much better. There is a seduction to it. Very much so. When you watch a trout feeding, and then you approach it and don't scare it, and then you work on it for a while and get it to take your fly, it's... Uh, a dance. Yeah, yeah. This fish puts on sudden bursts of speed, then stops and comes in like a log. The ethos of most American fly fishing has long been catch and release. Eating what you catch tastes great, but done over and over, it's not sustainable for fisheries. For many who spend time in these waters just being here, dancing and chasing is enough. Right now, more people, uh, there's a craving to, to be outdoors. You bet. <laughs> but it's something that people can always return to, right? Absolutely. And the whole world has fish fly fishing in it. Always in beautiful, clean water. 
Love it, right? You brought me candy. I didn't bring either fish. That's okay. Or, uh, what or, I love, what I loved, and I know Michelle did, was now somebody else understands what it's like to try to reel in Jeff, <laughs> trying to teach Jeff how to do something. It, it Just was, relax. She was. She, oh, she, oh, <laughs> oh, that, that hurt. Well, I want to say no to effort. Brian Applegate, who's our executive producer. Two things. One, uh, my next assignment in the great outdoors, where I learned something that's also relaing. I'm always out yeah. and about. Yeah, I like that. I know, but I like that idea. Yeah.